Let's see. Which of the following is a risk factor for development of this condition? Uh, celiacs, chronic constipation, Crohn's disease, aortic stenosis, and ulcerative colitis. This is a 65-year-old man with a history of aortic stenosis presenting with multi with recurrent episodes of melena. Upper endoscopy reveals no source of bleeding and a colonoscopy is performed. Um, the colonoscopy shows multiple small dilated tortuous blood vessels in the cecum. This is angiodysplasia. I was trying to remember the name of the dilated in the cecum. So now I've got to think about the risk factors for angiodysplasia. Um, to which I am not entirely sure. Um, there's no indication that this man has ever had celiacs, Crohn's, or ulcerative colitis. I'm going to go with aortic stenosis just because I maybe with the decreased blood flow that would cause some dilated blood i'm not entirely sure though okay final answer let's go for it okay good so um andrew dysplasia vascular malformations gi tract um it's kind of like you said right increased pressure of the left ventricle right increased pressure of submucosal blood vessels and subcutaneous dilation toward torsosity right so um did i remember this as a risk factor no this is something you know um on a test taking um, strategy standpoint right i would get it between you know chronic constipation or aortic stenosis because you, you also sometimes think you know the increased um amount of pressure can cause things um that maybe mess with vessels but um you, you're thinking more hemorrhoids and right fecal and uh impactions and maybe fissures but not too much angiodysplasia so um, kind of more of a systemic issue. So yeah, I think you worked through that good. And um, if you've noticed, you've gotten very fast to get to, okay, so I got it between these two. I'm leaning more of this one. Let's pick this one and go forward, which is great for test taking. Okay.